Shalom and welcome to Jewish Jewels in our Fort Lauderdale home. I'm Neil and this is my wife Jamie. Shalom. We're glad that you could join us today and I hope that today's program will be a real blessing, a bracha. In fact, that's what it's about. The most popular blessing for Jewish mm -hmm. people and also for non-Jews as well. And you know, this bracha, Neil, has various names. It's called the beautiful benediction, the priestly benediction or blessing. In churches, it's called the ironic benediction. It's a threefold blessing that conveys volumes of faith and mm -hmm. trust in God. Birkat Kohanim in Hebrew. Yeah, and here it is in the book of Numbers, the sixth chapter. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha, the Lord bless you and keep you. Ya'er Adonai penavalecha v'chunecha, the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Yisa Adonai penavalecha v'chunecha v'yasem lecha shalom, the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Some of you may even know this by its Yiddish name, Duchening, which mm -hmm. refers to the, the breathing, the praying as it goes on. Yeah, Tanta Rose was talking to me about that. Yes, God wants to bless individuals today. This is a blessing phrased in the singular as a personal bracha, addressing the needs and desires of individuals. That's why I chose this necklace that you can see here as a bar mitzvah gift for our oldest son, Jonathan. I bought it from the Bible Society in Israel. It's a replica of the oldest known fragment of a biblical text. It's been dated back to the first temple and is therefore hundreds of years older than the Qumran scrolls. It's been ascertained that 2,600 years ago, the priestly blessing was worn around the neck on a leather strap so that it hung close to the heart. It was like, you Neil, know, a mezuzah for the body. Yeah. And you know, Jamie, the, the priestly blessing really goes back even before that. It goes all the way back to the time of, of Moses and the coming out yes. from uh, Egypt when mm -hmm. God spoke to Moses, told his brother Aaron to pronounce the blessing so that God would bless the people of Israel. Right. Although verse 27 is not normally considered part of the blessing, it clarifies what the Kohanim, the priests, are doing. So shall they put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. God's the only source of blessing in the Tanakh. His presence confers blessing, and only in his name, which of course is the manifestation of his very nature, can others, the Kohanim, confer blessing. We spoke with Rabbi Jonathan Kahn on the campus of Messiah College last summer, and he had been to Cuba and he'd been to India pronouncing the blessing wherever mm -hmm. he went. Let's listen now and see what Jonathan has to say about that. I'm from the tribe of Levi, and I'm from the house of Aaron. So it, it said the children of Aaron were to give this blessing to the people of Israel, the children of Israel. Uh, and they would often lift their hands like this, which was the sign of the Shekinah glory. In fact, Star Trek, when they say live long and prosper, is a form of the ironic benediction that uh, I think it was when Leonard Nimoy was a little kid and he was fascinated by at the synagogue when the sons of Aaron would lift up their hands. And so they put that into Star Trek. So that is the ironic bl blessing. And um, it, it didn't mean as much until I became a believer in the Lord and we come to his priesthood. And he's led me to do this and to fulfill this, uh, this calling. When I came into ministry, he gave me scriptures about Aaron and his sons. So only in Messiah Yeshua, Jesus, as a Jew am I fulfilled, and as a son of Aaron am I fulfilled. And then it's prophesied that in the end of days that uh, the light of God's going to go to all nations, that Jew and Gentile are going to be together in Messiah. And so he's called us now as Jewish believers and as Gentile believers to be lights to the nations and to go out. So this year he's called me and he's called you to go to the nation. So the first nation I was called to was India. And so, you know, they had never seen a Jew there before in their lives. And they never saw a Jewish believer there in their lives. And, and except they knew about a Jewish believer, Thomas, who brought them the gospel. So I was walking in his footsteps. So, so uh, when I went there, I stood before about 100,000 Indian people in robes, seeing a Jewish person. And I lifted up my hands, you know, and they bowed their heads. And I did the ironic blessing for the first time in Madras. You know, I chanted it to them, and then they translated it into Tamil language. And the reaction was, you know, they'd never heard anything like this, and I'd never seen anything like this. The reaction was that they, 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 were, like, they were like screams, and they were like all sorts of things happening throughout the, 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 the 100,000, you know. And it, was just, it blew us away, you know, that it was something, we knew we were seeing something prophetic and something of the end time. We want you to have this prophetic end time blessing as well, so we ask Rabbi Khan to bless each of you with the priestly blessing. 
Yivarechecha Adonai Vayishmerecha Ya'er Adonai Panavalecha Vichunecha Yisa Adonai Panavalecha Yasem lecha shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you grace. May the Lord lift up upon you the glory of his countenance. And may he give to you shalom, life, fullness, peace, victory, and all the grace of his love. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach. Or HaOlam, light of the world, Uchvod Yisrael, and the glory of Israel. God bless you.